Hi guys, I'm back again with another video and this video is going to be about how to get through your first year. This is a very important time in your life if you're in first year um, engineering program simply because it's a transitional period. This is you coming from high school to university. They're two different entities. So it's kind of difficult for some people to find their balance during that first year. And I'm just gonna give you some tips and tricks on how I think you could scale through successfully. And these are things I've done, or not all of them, I've done some of them, and I've spoken to people on what they did or what they think they could have done differently. So this is just my compilation of how I feel like you could go through it successfully. So let's dive in. First tip is to talk to everyone. When I mean everyone, I mean everyone. Talk to your colleagues, like talk to your classmates, talk to everyone who's in class. Any class you go to, talk to them. Go to the engineering student group and join the student group if you can. I don't know if you can at first year, but join the student group. Talk to people who are in the student group because they'll most likely be in their upper years. Get feedback from them, interact with them. They might have past tests for you. You never know. Talk to your profs. Don't be shy to talk to your profs. Go to your prof office, ask them about the course, you know, what you think you can do to excel in the, to excel, to excel in the course. Talk to them about different things, like um, like what students have done in the past that you think they did. Just talk to them in general. Get feedback from them. Talk to, who else? Talk to literally everyone. Upper years, your classmates, and everyone. Yeah, it's gonna help you. My second tip will be to get involved. Getting involved is the best thing you can do for yourself because you learn how to juggle things early. If you get involved, it keeps you on your feet. It gives you a tight uh, schedule so you know that, oh, I have to do this and I also need to study and I also need to do this. I'm not, this is not for everyone because some people don't know how to juggle things. Some people need to be very focused on one thing when they are in a transitional period. But if you can, try and get involved. Get involved in your in different groups in school. It doesn't have to be engineering related. Just get involved in different groups. That's how you meet different people and you get um, different feedback and different ideas on how, like on different things, not even engineering related. It's just good for you to join something and get involved so you have another network outside of your program. When I say get involved, I mean also, like if you see things like competitions, you know, all these scholarship programs, they send emails all the time to, to all of us. And it's good for you to see if you, you're eligible to do those things. You're eligible to go for design competitions. You're eligible to apply for like, um, you know, they have all these scholarships sometimes also. If you're eligible to apply for the scholarships or different things, just make sure you get involved and you keep up with your email. And you're just very aware of what's happening in your university and in your program to be specific. My third tip, and I think is the most important for the academic section of your life, <laughs> I think it's to know how to manage your time. That's very important in excelling in engineering. I've come to realize this, the courses that we took, they weren't like rocket science. Okay, no, they were kind of difficult, but they weren't like, wow, this is so difficult. It was just that most of us did not know how to manage our time. You need to know how to manage your time so you can have time to practice and to revise your work before class, revise your work after class, practice, keep up with assignments. The more you're able to manage your time, the more you're able to excel in engineering. Engineering is a time management program. I'm telling you, you need to know how to ensure that you're not slacking behind and you're on top of your, your, your stuff. You know, you need to know that you've gotten everything done and keep to your tight study schedule. My fourth tip is to not slack on assignments, tutorials, participation marks, any mark that on um, any marks that you could get on the side, apart from tests and exams, do not slack on them because trust me, they'll add up in the end. Those marks would help you in places you don't even know. If you think you did badly in your tests or you think you did badly in your exams and you find out that your final grade is like, wow, okay, this is not so terrible as I thought, it's because you do not slack on the other marks that you could get in the course. So you see some people and they, they have um, okay scores in their tests and their 
final and you didn't get any of the marks in for assignments and other things, you find that you could actually get better marks than them even if you have mediocre tests and final uh, marks just because you have all the bonuses added in also from all the other things that you had to do and you had to get done. So don't slack on all the other marks that you could get in the course. Make sure you grab them. It's a hustle. It's, it's a hustle for marks in engineering. You have to hustle and get all the marks you can get because it's gonna add up in the end. My fifth tip is to not spend too much. This is it. I'm saying this generally, but I'm going to go into sections. I'm gonna say don't spend too much on textbooks. There are people if you Hold my first tip on talking to everyone. You would have met people who would give you information on where you can get cheaper books, where you can get used books for the different courses you'd be taking. So you don't have to spend too much on the textbooks because the actual textbooks are very, very expensive. And I personally found that talking to people, they always had ebooks or they had um, online versions or they had something else. So you can always find a cheaper alternative if you do talk to people. So talk to people and find out what they're doing and like how they're getting um, along with the program so you can know if there are cheaper ways that you can get things done. Try and keep your health game up so you don't have to spend too much money on food. So if you try and cook and bring to school or if you try and um, hmm, if you try and plan your 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 everyday um food schedule I think it'll be better because at least if you bring breakfast and lunch to school and then you've spent too much time in school and you have to buy dinner that's not too bad you know but then if you come to school in the morning and then you have to spend on breakfast and lunch and dinner that's going to be a lot if you're adding it up per day per week that's going to be too much money so just try and make sure you're not spending too much when you get to university my sixth tip would be to make sure you start thinking about jobs so you come into your engineering program you're almost done with your first year before you even get done with your first year start think if you're really down for the program and you're, you're sure you're going to stay in the program start thinking of summer jobs related to engineering and this is important because you get an early application of like what you've been learning in school for that first year you may not have learned too much but it'll be good for you to at least um start applying it somewhere or go to a job where they're doing engineering things so that you can learn and then when you come back to school and you're actually learning the fundamentals of it you'll be like oh i did this at work and it's applicable to this and blah 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 you know and also getting a job is going to help you because if your program does not have co-op co-op is like the work school uh, uh option if you don't have co-op, I think it's very important for you to actually find a job during your summer, every summer. Make sure you're finding a job related to your program. It's going to be hard, but if you start early, then it'll be better for you. Because when you get out of school, I've said this before, when you get out of school, they're looking for people who had, um, who already have experience in their program. So they're looking for people who actually worked while they were in school in things related to their program even if it's not related to your program you can't get something something related to your program get something close like maybe an IT job or like get something like a hmm, like a, I don't know like a cashier job just make sure you're not idle every time it's summertime if you're not taking summer courses even if you are taking summer courses I've seen people juggle it but if you can't just make sure you are doing something with your summertime it's very important because it shows your involvement also so that's my sixth tip. My seventh and last tip would be to look for alternative sources. Alternative sources in terms of learning. Sometimes I went to some classes and the profs were not, I wasn't really gaining much in the class. I feel like I wasn't getting as much information about the courses I wanted to. And I always found it difficult when I was studying because I felt like, you know, I didn't learn too much in the class. But those type of courses, I found that um, I could go on YouTube and I could see a whole breakdown of everything that we were doing in the course. Or I could go somewhere else and they had like a whole breakdown of everything. And I just learned by myself through YouTube or through some other things. So look for alternative sources. Don't feel like it's a dead end. Or look for or sign up to get a tutor. You can get tutors on campus, people who have taken the program before, who have taken the course before. And they know more about it to help you out on the side and um, assist you in the course. So I think that's important.
So thank you for watching this video. I hope I helped some people and I helped you in some way. And for people coming into their first year, most likely in September, I hope you watch this video before then so you know things that you should do to excel, not excel, that's a strong word, to things that you should do to be able to move forward or to get ahead in your first year of the engineering program. So if you have anything you want me to talk about in the next video, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see more on this channel and I hope, I like to get feedback so I want more feedback for people watching my video, I want more feedback on whether I'm helping out in some way or not. I hope I am. So thank you. See you soon in my next video.